So, so CD4 and CD8 T cells, uh, they're two subsets of T cells that work in slightly different ways. And um, for many years, people have done studies uh, using using mice, uh, looking at viral infections in mice, and it's it's very well known that that CD4 cells uh, really are necessary for for CD8 cells to work at their at their optimal optimal level. Um, so really we were just extending that idea uh, to the car world and looking at whether or not uh, if we uh, were able to um, to see any sort of cooperation between the, the CD4 and the CD8 uh, activity of car engineered cells and that turns out to be the case that if you put both of them together you get better results than if you if you use either one uh, on its own and I think that's largely reflected also in the clinical trials that have been done. This is a trial where we're, uh, it's, uh, it's an autologous study. Uh, in other words, we're taking uh, blood from uh, patients with B-cell malignancies um, uh, and we're engineering um, car-modified T-cells and then giving those T-cells back to the patients. Um, the strategy that we're using for, for the 2639 study uh, is uh, really looking at this cooperation of CD4 and CD8 T-cells together. Um, what we're doing is engineering both the CD4 and the CD8 T cells separately, so at the end of the engineering process, we can mix those in together um, to try and and, uh, and get an optimal uh, effect on the tumour. So, in contrast to, to 2639, the autologous study uh, 2494 is uh, an allogeneic study, and in this one, rather than treating patients with CAR T cells uh, derived from their own uh, blood we're uh, treating patients after allogeneic transplant with uh, CAR T cells that are derived uh, from the blood of their transplant donor. Uh, so we're enrolling patients with high-risk B-cell malignancies both prior to transplant uh, and also patients who've relapsed, uh, have relapsed disease after transplant. And essentially it's a similar strategy where we're, we're taking the, the cells out of the, the donor's blood, um, we're selecting CD4, uh, CD, sorry, CD8 T cells, um, and we're engineering them to, to express the car. One of the extra things that we're doing with the, um, the 2494 study is that uh, there, there's a potential risk that you could induce graft-versus-host disease um, by giving lots of donor-derived T-cells to uh, an allogeneic, allogeneic transplant recipient. Um, even when they're car-modified, these T-cells these still have their native T-cell receptor, so there is a risk of allo-reactivity. So what we're doing on 2494 that we're not doing uh, on the autologous study uh, is that we're um, engineering bispecific cells. So we're stimulating the cells with a peptide uh, uh, for a common virus that uh, for either CMV or EBV uh, that uh, many of these patients have encountered. Um, and we're growing out cells that can react both uh, through an EBV or, or CMV specific T cell receptor and through a chimeric antigen receptor. And the idea of that is that we narrow down that, that T cell receptor repertoire that can potentially cause GVHD with the idea of making the CAR T cell therapy a little safer for transplant recipients.